Saturday morning of the last weekend of the month. April's going to end, <laughs> well, by the end of the week. Uh, the idea is that it's going to be a hot one. Excessive heat warning in effect. We'll get into that in a little bit. Just a few more minutes. Right now, we got the birthdays. we got the big shot birthdays, April 25th. Actor Al Pacino. 80 years old today, Dancing with the Stars Judge Lynn Goodman. Uh, if you've ever seen that show, Lynn looks a lot older than this, but he's 76. Uh, Stu Cook of the Creedence Clearwater Revival will be revisited. Uh, he's 75. Uh, he, it was also the uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Okay, so he was an original member as well. Uh, Bjorn Uvayas. Uh, he was an ABBA, and that's probably not how he pronounces his name. He's 75 today. Talia Shire, oh, and she was Rocky. and yet, Well, she wasn't Rocky, but she was in the Rocky movie. She's 75. Actor uh, Jeffrey uh, DeMoon, uh, he was in The Green Mile. He's 73 today. Actor Hank Azaria, uh, he does the voices in The Simpsons. He's on TV as a cable show where he's the base, uh, baseball commissioner. Uh, he's, he's been around for a long time. He's 56 today. Uh, former early show host Jane Clayson, 53. Don't remember ever seeing the early show. Uh, actress Renee Zellweger. She is uh, the woman of many faces. She's a 51. Jason Lee, he was uh, My Name is Earl, one of my favorite shows. He was in Almost Famous, and he was uh, the... Uh, well, the caretaker of the Chipmunks in the Chipmunks movie. He's 50 years old today, Jason Lee. Uh, also was a skateboard guy. Uh, we got the local birthdays, local people, people we may actually know. Coming up next. Communities are starting to feel the financial impact of COVID-19. But we want you to know that there is help. We have disability insurance for workers exposed to or ill with COVID-19. Paid family Several leave for those caring for an ill or quarantined family member and unemployment insurance for reduced hours or lost work. We're all in this together. For more information, visit covid19.ca.gov. Happy birthday wishes going out to Alexis Vega, Geneva Smith, Damara Whiteman, Cheyenne Villanueva, Diane Dooling, Dave Hilficker, Amanda Barraza, Maya McLean, Bernice Burrola, we have uh, Betty Jo McNeese, Frank Irigoyen, Lily Avina, Marisol Nunez, Rose Vega, Jorge Ruiz, Betty Ann, Chris Hoff, Alyssa Torres, and Cesar Montoya, and Caitlin Ariola. Talk to Caitlin's dad. Caitlin, I got a feeling, is uh, daddy's little girl. Uh, Caitlin, turning 18 years old today, off to college next year. Congratulations, Caitlin, and happy birthday to you, everybody else from KXO. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And it's time for the World in California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Update. Several states, including Oklahoma and Alaska, are ramping down their stay-at-home orders over the coronavirus, even though health experts are warning it is too early to do so. Cheryl Linda Rowe manages a nail salon in Georgia. People are still getting sick. People are still dying. And I don't know if it's even worth us. Well, I know it's not worth us going into this line to work. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus says states need aggressive testing. There is hope from two antibodies in China that actually block the virus from getting into the cell. And using antibodies that do that in other viral outbreaks has had tremendous results. And those two have been shown uh, to work in, uh, in models in China. So there's hope there. And then there's some drugs in development that look very, very encouraging at early stages. 
The death toll in the U.S. from COVID-19 is now more than 50,000, but the outbreak is beginning to subside in much of Asia. CBS News Update. I'm Allison Keyes. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News. Starting Monday in San Diego, folks can go to the beach again. San Diego Mayor Kevin Falconer. We are starting with phase one of beach and water reopenings. We're going to need you to do the right thing, uh, to follow those rules so we can go to phase two. But I need to state this very clearly. What happens next is up to all of, all of us. Sacramento County Public Health Services Director Dr. Peter Bielinson wants state lawmakers tested for COVID-19 before they resume their legislative session May 4th. The first priority is to have each of the legislators tested by their physician in their home districts. If that doesn't work, they can be tested by UC Davis at UC Davis or UC Davis will probably come by their offices later in the next week to test them. Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders are dying from coronavirus most disproportionately in California, about four times higher than their share of the population. That's followed by blacks, Asians, whites, and Latinos. Mike Salceda, California Headline News. And World California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At Ace, we always have been and always will be committed to our local communities because we're here to help others. So in this time of need, your local Ace remains open. And since we're in your neighborhood, we can deliver almost anything you need. So shop in store or online for the home or yard products you're looking for and choose from top brands like Steel, Ego, Toro, and Scott's. Then you can pick up in store, curbside, or we'll deliver your order right to your door. Help is just around the block. See acehardware.com for details. When you go to the mechanic in here... Pass me the torque right... Nope, let me have the flamethrower. That sounds wrong. You know what else sounds wrong? When you hear about the interest you're earning on your savings with the largest banks. But with the Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account, you could earn much more interest. And hear this. Open a Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account in minutes at Marcus.com. You can money. Comparison made to the three largest U.S. banks measured by total deposits. Rates as of February 4th, 2020 and may vary by state. Goldman Sachs Bank USA. Member FDIC. And it is time for the uh, page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the Valley, in Brawley and Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue, right next to Food for Less. COVID-19 numbers, the uh, latest update released last night, well, 520 yesterday evening, uh, by the Imperial County Public Health Department. There are now uh, uh, patients tested, 1,533 of those, uh, 251 have tested positive. 67 of those have recovered. There has been eight deaths. Uh, the active cases right now, as we stand right now, 176 uh, active cases of the COVID-19. National Weather Service has issued an excessive heat warning. I think we talked about that it's for the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. According to uh, the uh, National Weather Service, a significant warming trend will continue through the weekend as a ridge of high pressure aloft continues to strengthen. Temperatures Saturday today could reach uh, 101 degrees. Sunday's high expected to be right near 105. The Weather Service says temperatures in excess of 100 will remain through next week. Nighttime temperatures are expected to dip into the uh, upper 60s to low 70s so it should be very pleasant at night while you sweat in the daytime we'll have more in just a minute it's quick lane tire and auto centers for your service needs whether it's a lube job oil and filter change brake job battery or wheel balance and alignment quick lane can handle it and quick lane services all makes and all models oh and by the way you never need an appointment tires all the best brands at the best price guaranteed. See your Quick Lane service advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. 
And the Imperial County is reopening outdoor recreational facilities today. County Regional Parks, uh, private and public golf courses, and other outdoor recreational areas will reopen with limited access. The outdoors areas uh, may be used for jogging, walking, biking, and other non-contact activities. Some restrictions and guidelines remain in place, however. Do not visit any of the areas if you are sick or if you are recently exposed to COVID-19. Stay at least six feet from others. Uh, do not go into a crowd or a crowded area or visit a crowded park. Use a face covering at all times. Avoid gathering with others outside of your household. Do not use basketball courts. Park restrooms, uh, uh, the uh, playgrounds and the playground equipment will remain closed. County Regional Parks that will reopen include Sunbeam Lake Park, Weast Lake Park, Red Hill Park, and Palo Verde Park. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has announced changes at the Clexico East Port of Entry, the hours of operation anyway. Uh, beginning tomorrow, the uh, passenger border crossing will operate from 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. every day. The uh, change is just for the uh, passenger port of entry. There are no changes uh, to the cargo or commercial port hours. Uh, according to CBP, there is a significant decrease in the volume of northbound traffic the week of March 2nd. Compared to uh, last week, CBP officials saw a 62% decrease in vehicle traffic and a 93% decrease in pedestrian traffic at the Clexco East facility. Northbound traffic at all land ports on the border in California has decreased 53% over the same period while pedestrian traffic has dropped 76%. The U.S. and Mexico have extended the moratorium on non-essential travelers uh, through May 21st, 2020. Now the change of hours, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the east port of entry only. The West Port will remain as is. No change there at all. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue, right next to Food for Less, and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and models, and you will never need an appointment. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. And it's time for page two of the local news, brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. U.S. Border Patrol agents say they are seeing an apparent trend in smuggling people in tractor-trailer rigs. A latest incident occurred earlier this week when agents conducting a surveillance on a big rig that was northbound on Highway 86 at the Border Patrol checkpoint near Salton City. K-9 team alerted to the cab of the truck, and the driver was referred to the secondary California inspection area. Starting Monday. Okay, hold on just a second. There, three people jumped out of the truck cab and tried to run away. Those three, uh, two men and an unaccompanied uh, female juvenile were uh, apprehended. The uh, driver of the 36-year-old uh, uh, Mexican national was arrested. According to the uh, Border Patrol, there have been at least three other incidents of human smuggling involving a big rig. Butner hearing. It was held this week. It was a modified motion hearing, modified to accommodate the uh, pandemic mitigation of court hearings. It was a, uh, a four-screen video conference that included the defendant, defense counsel, prosecutor, and the judge. Annette Butner is facing charges of perjury, filing a false declaration of candidacy, and one count of grand theft in a value exceeding $950. Judge Jeffrey Jones was covering for Judge Marco Nunez. Only one motion was dealt with. Butner exercised her right not to consent to waiving uh, her personal presence at legal proceedings. Defense requested a continuance, and it was granted by the judge. Another motion hearing uh, was scheduled for May 27th, and the defendant will be requested to be physically present at that hearing. 
We're going to take a look at your weather in just a minute. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. The high temperature yet today, 100 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 68. Nash Weather Service says record or near record heat will affect much of the desert southwest over the coming week. Warming trend will continue this weekend with a lower desert high temperatures around 100 degrees today and closer to 105 degrees on Sunday. These extreme temperatures this early in the season will likely bring significant heat impacts and precautions should be taken to limit exposure to the heat. The hot and dry pattern is forecast to continue through next week with a slight dip in daily high temperatures early next week before warming again during the latter half of next week. Excessive heat warning in effect for the Imperial Valley. Uh, weather forecast calling for sunny skies. Highs right near 103. West to southwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight. Overnight lows around 72. Winds will be calm. Sunday, sunny skies. Highs right near 106. Winds will be light. West southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy skies. Overnight lows around 71. Breezy throughout the night. Monday, sunny skies. Highs right near 102. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And right now we're looking at 72 degrees, 41% your relative humidity. Page 2 of the local news and the weather has been brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplement coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. People who are older and those who have underlying medical conditions can be at increased risk for COVID-19. If you're frequently around or are a member of one of these high-risk groups, wash your hands often and disinfect your home. Make sure you have an adequate supply of regular medications and avoid large crowds. If you do have symptoms like cough and fever, call your doctor or local health department before seeking treatment. For more information, visit covid19.ca.gov. And in sports this morning, almost everything has to do with the NFL draft. Uh, round two of the draft was held yesterday. Uh, you, 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 you talk about hoarding. The Bears, uh, they, they are the hoarders of the NFL. They uh, selected Notre Dame's Cole Komet uh, in the NFL draft. That gives them 10. They have a total of 10 tight ends. Most teams carry just two. Uh, they'll have maybe three going into the uh, preseason. Uh, but uh, the Bears are, were, will be going into preseason with 10, 10 tight ends. Didn't leave any for anybody else. The Eagles uh, made a surprising choice. They took Sooners quarterback Jalen Hurt in the second round of the NFL draft. That's surprising because they already have a quarterback. Uh, he just signed to a four-year contract, a $128 million extension. He just signed that in June. Carlin Went Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is uh, the, well, the quarterback, you would think. Uh, and the Eagles say he is. Uh, they say that Hurt will not affect uh, Car Carson Wentz or his contract. Packers, uh, Jordan Love says that he has uh, reached out uh, to be congratulated. Well, he wasn't. Uh, Aaron Rodgers reached out to him, congratulated him on being picked uh, the, as the uh, quarterback for the uh, Green Bay Packers. Another surprising pick because they do have Aaron Rodgers and there is no speculation that Aaron Rodgers is going anywhere. Uh, Jordan Love apparently going to be the backup for Aaron Rodgers. And that's what's, uh, well, we have more, <laughs> more, more or on the draft coming up. When you do your taxes with H&R Block, you can work with the same tax pro year after year, so they can be there with you through all of life's changes. From bum, 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 to dun, 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 dun. and definitely H&R Block tax pros have an average of 10 years experience getting people every credit and deduction they deserve. And I guess what that sounds like. ka -ching! Make an appointment or walk in today. It's better with Block. There's a lot going on in the world right now, but getting your tax refund is as important as ever. H&R Block is here to help you safely get your taxes done. Just drop off your documents at H&R Block and a tax pro will do the rest. 
And uh, the uh, New England Patriots made the uh, first pick of the 2020 draft in the second round uh, was yesterday. They picked Kyle Duggar. Uh, was with, with the uh, with their first pick, Bill uh, Bill Belichick uh, had his dog, his Nike, his dog Nike was right there with him, uh, right nearby, and delivered a mild surprise uh, by selecting the uh, small school safety uh, Duggar of uh, Division Two, uh, Lenore Ryan University. Earlier in the early in the second round, uh, he picked uh, number 37, uh, first pick again for the Patriots in the uh, draft. Duggar, uh, who was a draft stock whose draft stock rose after he participated in the Senior Bowl and took part in the NFL Combine, uh, easily becomes the highest drafted player in the history of Lenore Ryan, located in Hickory, North Carolina. That was the first pick of Bill Belichick for th for this year. Got a couple more picks coming up today and tomorrow. Uh, Ravens uh, take a Buckeyes' uh, J.K. Dobbins in the NFL draft on the heels of a uh, record rushing season, so that was a no-brainer. Uh, Kirby Smart... Uh, uh, of Georgia, uh, he says the uh, non-SEC coaches, the, on, the non-SEC coaches, uh, they usually warn the recruits that it's too tough. The NFL is too tough for them, and they should do something else. Uh, a lot of them this year didn't pay attention because there was a record number of uh, SEC uh, re graduates uh, to, to be chosen in the first round. In golf, uh, Tiger Woods and Peyton Manning are going to take on Phil Mickelson and Tom Brady. It's a coronavirus charity golf match. In fact, it has a name, The Match, Champions for Charity. Uh, the charity is, again, for uh, the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, volunteers, a uh, cure for uh, what they... Uh, it's going to a coronavirus, anything to do with that. And it will be held, they think, Memorial Day weekend. Not really sure yet, uh, but it will be on live on TNT. Uh, Ex-Tennis Hall of Famer Bob Hewitt has been paroled after his rape conviction. Uh, former Grand Slam doubles champion Bob Hewitt was released from a prison on parole Friday after serving nearly four years of a six-year sentence uh, for the rape and sexual assault of girls he coached in South Africa in 1980s and 1990s. Most of those girls underage, way underage. The NFL draft back to the draft. Packers uh, follow a questionable pick of a Jordan Love that we talked about by going running, uh, by, by picking uh, a running back over a receiver. They need, they need a receiver. They picked a running back in round two. So the Packers have two questionable selections so far in the 2020 draft. And the Rams are all ready. They, they selected possible uh, Todd Gurley and Brandon Cook replacements uh, with their first two picks. Cam Akers and uh, Javan Jefferson are uh, reportedly ready to make an immediate impact for the Rams if they're called upon to do so. That's it. That's a look at sports. We got financial news and weather coming up. KXOAM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Right Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Central, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line, or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to to promote your event. KXOAM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXOAM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And in uh, this morning's financial news, the major U.S. equity benchmarks ended Friday's session solidly higher as investors took solace in the uh, passage of another round of stimulus and a continued rebound in oil prices after a headlong ca uh, crash earlier this week. Dow Jones Industrial Average rose at 260 points, or 1.1 percent, to end at around 23,775. S&P 500 index added about 
40 points or 1.4% to 28,337. The NASDAQ Composite Index advanced 140 points or 1.7% to close at roughly 8,635 for the week. The Dow lost 1.9 percent, S&P 500 retreated 1.3 percent, and the Nasdaq shed 0.2 percent, snapping a two-week winning streak uh, for the uh, indexes. President Trump signed a $484 billion stimulus package that will replenish a fund for small business lending and direct money to hospitals and efforts to ramp up U.S. testing capacity in the fight against COVID-19. The bill will bring a total federal spending on the coronavirus to north of $2.7 trillion. Also helping lift sentiment was a third straight day of gains for oil following a major decline in prices earlier in the week and that had fueled global growth worries. That's it. That's a look at uh, business. Got your weather coming up. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 5 to 886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB in this station. The high temperature yesterday, 100 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 68. National Weather Service says record or near record heat will affect much of the desert southwest over the coming week. Warming trend will continue this weekend with a lower desert high temperatures around 100 degrees today and closer to 105 degrees on Sunday. These extreme temperatures this early in the season will likely bring significant heat impacts and precautions should be taken to limit exposure to the heat. The hot and dry pattern is forecast to continue through next week with a slight dip in daily high temperatures early next week before warming again during the latter half of next week. Excessive heat warning in effect for the Imperial Valley. Uh, weather forecast calling for sunny skies. Highs right near 103. West to southwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight. Overnight lows around 72. Winds will be calm. Sunday, sunny skies. Highs right near 106. Winds will be light. West southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy skies. Overnight lows around 71. Breezy throughout the night. Monday, sunny skies. Highs right near 102. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And right now, we are looking at 72 degrees, 41% the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says air quality moderate in Mexicali. Air quality is good everywhere else. That's it. That's a look at your business and your weather. We've got, uh, we've got some news coming up next. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold. Right here on the Imperial Valley's... Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday 9 p.m. to midnight and Sunday morning 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The best oldies on the radio, KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. And your CBS News brought to you by Julie Oliver with Dickey Insurance Services, your Imperial Valley Allstate agent. Stop by and see Julie for all your insurance needs. 1699 West Main Street in El Centro. News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Allison Keyes in Washington. President Trump signed a $48 billion COVID-19 relief package as lockdowns ease in several states. CBS's Michael George. Businesses in some states are reopening. The Trust in Maine salon run by Tara Glynn in Georgia is one of them. If you are very concerned about getting it, then, then we ask you to stay home and don't come. But not all Georgians agree. Protesters showed up Friday outside Governor Brian Kemp's home as his order to open up went into effect. 
Oklahoma and Michigan also had limited reopening Friday. And Monday, Tennessee, Minnesota, and Colorado will join them. But in Colorado, several workers at a Walmart died from the coronavirus, and the store was forced to close. KCNC-TV reporter Dominic Garcia spoke with an employee there. The Tri-County Health Department has closed the store, and Jessie has no idea when she'll go back to work. Oh, we reached out to the health department, and they told us to call Walmart, but nobody answered the phone or anything. When your store opens back up, do you trust that management will do what's necessary to keep you safe? No, I don't. If you do get COVID-19 and recover, does that mean you're immune? Global health officials say there should be no immunity passports or risk-free certificates for COVID-19. The World Health Organization says there's no evidence yet that people who've recovered from the virus and have antibodies are protected from a repeat infection. It warns of a continued spread if people who beat the virus ignore advice to take standard precautions such as limiting travel or staying home from work. Chile said it plans to hand out health passports to people judged recovered from the illness. Pam Coulter, CBS News. CBS's Elaine Cobb reports things are easing in Paris as well. President Emmanuel Macron says he will have a detailed end of lockdown plan next Tuesday. That will include reopening some schools and a nationwide testing program to track the virus and prevent a second wave. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says as a new spike in unemployment claims raises the possibility of states going bankrupt, the future job market is unclear. A lot of economists that I speak to are worried that that competition for the jobs that are going to be shrinking in the next months, it's going to push down wages. So we're very concerned about what that intermediate term outlook is, meaning through the end of this year for many U.S. workers. Contact confirmed. The Russian Progress cargo confirmed. craft docked with the International Docking. Space Station overnight, delivering food, fuel and other supplies. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open an account with a savings rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One NA, member FDIC. Nature Valley brings that satisfying crunch that gets your family going again. With real delicious honey and whole grain oats. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Hey, let me let me call you back, man. Hey, man, how's it going? Hi. So uh, I have the stain, and uh, I heard you're the guy. Say no more. Valley Dry Clean has got you covered. Ah, no. ah. Man. Cool, man. Hey, man, you got it out. What'd you guys do? Let's just say we've got a secret weapon. Thanks, man. This is an ugly candy bar. Peter Paul's Almond Cluster. It bulges from the way they stuff those almonds and crunchy stuff inside. It's so ugly, in fact, we're not going to show it to you. But don't go away. We're going to show you something. Isn't that something? Believe me, it's better than looking at our candy bar. Funny thing, ugly as it is, almond cluster tastes just beautiful. Why people who make such a crunchy chocolatey candy can't fix the way it looks? I don't know, maybe we should be on our radio or something, uh, skywriting. Uh, 